Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another installment of Split Second. The show where... Hmm, I never think this through, huh, do I? Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Split Second. The show where watches are discussed, memes are added, with no regard for any kind of public safety. My name is Julio. Let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Real quick... Quick wrist check before we start today's episode. I am wearing my G-Shock, my Casio G-Shock DW5600BB. Or am I? Let me explain. So, uh, yeah. I bought a fake G-Shock. I, I did an unboxing of this watch. You know, it was lost. It got all beat up and what have you. And uh, a couple of you were quick to point out in the comments. Yeah. I bought a fake. I didn't realize it at the time, and, um, you know, that kind of sidetracked my plans a little bit, but I saw an opportunity here, you know. I was duped. Hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. Okay, I am by no means some kind of horological authority, and as it says in the channel description, I am still learning. We should be able to learn together, right? When I got those comments in my uh, in my G-Shock video, I thought, crap, man, but how could they tell? I mean, this thing, it looks like a G-Shock to me. It really only took a little bit of research, and once you know what to look for, it's obvious that this is a fake. I want to show you guys what I found, how you can tell it's a fake, and I want to keep you guys from making the same mistake that I did. So, sit back, relax. I actually did buy a genuine article, DW5600BB, so that we can compare the two of them, and hopefully you won't get caught in the same trap that I was. So yeah, this is an actual DW5600BB. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look. First and foremost, the box. We have... The tin looks way different from what I bought, right? Um, even though that tin was completely destroyed. I actually already got rid of it, so I wish I still had it to compare. When we open it up, we have... And it, the thing is, it looks deceptively similar, right? Um, the manual, we have it here. Now, the actual genuine article, the hang tag, even the hang tag is different, right? So... The bag is also different. You'll remember that in my unboxing of this guy, the bag was kind of a long strip. This bag is completely different. So furthermore, the hang tag, also different from what I got in that previous video. Those are just a few of the things that you'll see even before you're looking at the watch itself let's do a real head-to-head -head here a real side-by-side -side comparison so first and foremost the print on the fake is white it's noticeably white the print on the genuine article has more of a grayish hue to it the fake it's just slightly larger when you hold them side to side it just, it's just a teensy bit larger than the genuine article. Now, if you don't have one side by side to compare, you might never notice this. Looking at the screen itself, it's, I'm going to switch sides because I have lights on both sides so you can see. The real one is just more legible. The numbers are sharper and it's just easier to read. If we look at the, at the resin band, they look kind of similar to the naked eye, right? But they feel different. This one feels a lot more solid, right? This one feels way more bendy. You can see I, I'm bending that with ease. This one, maybe not so much, right? When you look at the side profile, this is a bit of a thicker boy. And let's just go ahead and get our digital calipers and take a look real comes in at 12.4 12.5 
fake comes in at 13.2. So the fake is a thicker boy. And while I have it, let's just take a look at it's 43.5, 43.6. So the side to side is pretty much the same. 44.8 on the fake, 44 on the button on the genuine article. And if we look at, this might be harder to measure, but if we look at, if we measure the shroud, we have 33.9 from this edge to this edge. And on the real one, we have 34. So like I said, it's just, it looks slightly larger. The fake one, sorry, looks slightly larger and is actually slightly larger than the real one. A couple more things. These look similar, but you'll notice the fake has the buckle and tang is way shinier. It's got a higher polish, whereas the real one has kind of a dull, um, almost bead blasted finish to it. Now, when you look at the back of the buckle where you have the Casio branding, the fake one, the pressing on it is much messier the pressing on the on the fake one is much messier it kind of spreads out the tang a little bit whereas with the real one it's much cleaner right and here's the thing with the fake one they're trying so hard to convince you that it's a genuine article that they press in japan under the casio logo whereas with the real one they don't care if you know that it's made in china the fake one says japan the real one made in China. They don't care that you know that. Let's just look at the band on the fake one here. Looks pretty normal, right? But these grooves here, these um, bumps, whatever you want to call them, they're a lot more pronounced on the real one. The fake one, this feels fl this feels flimsy. The, the rubber quality is also not the same. The fake one feels flimsy. I feel like I could just like just strip this off right here um just just slice this down the middle the printing at the end of the strap here so the real one is very subtle with it right with the real one it's very subtle whereas with the fake it's very messily done very over pronounced there another thing that you're going to notice is the finishing of the screws check out the screws on the real one that is very clean very neatly done look at the fake these are marred completely botched completely messed up that's another telltale sign right there on uh, the eagle-eyed viewer on the previous video Notice that there was a sticker here with red striping on it. I didn't even notice that when I was unboxing. That is another telltale sign of a fake. The real does not have a sticker on the back of it. Let's take a closer look at these case backs, huh? So you'll see it has Casio on it. Has G-Shock Resist. Shock absorbing structure. Again, not ashamed to say it's made in China. Water resistant, 20 bar. It has the model number DW5600BB. Stainless steel back, and again, made in China. This one has a lot of information on it, but the fake has a lot more information on it. In addition to the water resist 20 bar, model number dw5600bb uh, so stainless steel back this one says japan movement which the genuine article does not advertise it says cased in thailand whereas this one says no such thing it just says made in china But really, the most obvious one that you're going to see is right above where it says shock absorbing structure. They put in an anti-magnetic there for whatever reason. 
Another thing, by the way, is, check this out. This is a fake. The fake has no beeping. Whereas the real one beeps. Now you may be wondering, right? Okay, that's fine and dandy. Once I've bought it, how can I keep from buying a fake? Well, this is the part where I have to admit that I got way too excited at a good deal. The fake one I purchased off eBay. I saw it for $50 and I did not do my due diligence. Okay. eBay is a great place to get deals, but you need to do your due diligence, right? It didn't even cross my mind that someone would make a fake G-Shock. Like I had, I don't have a lot of experience with G-Shocks, so it didn't even occur to me. Like this is, G-Shocks are affordable. They're like baseline affordable. You know, you can, uh, DW5600, you can get these for $100 or less every day of the week. I saw, I didn't see, I didn't even think that there could possibly be a profit margin in doing counterfeits here. So when I saw one for $50 on eBay, I just, I didn't even bother. Just be careful. If something looks too good to be true, it probably is. Had I taken a second, I can't show you the seller's information anymore because um, they were actually taken off eBay, right? But when I went back before they, they, they got taken off eBay, I saw that they, that they didn't have any feedback. Like, no feedback for the seller whatsoever. Usually, you'll have feedback with 99% positive or 98% positive or whatever. This one had no feedback. That was red flag number one. Red, well, red flag number one was how how good of a deal it was, right? Um, but that in and of itself isn't necessarily a red flag. Red flag number two, however, should have been the fact that there was no feedback on the seller. Other people will tell you, and I'm, I may not necessarily advocate for this 100%. Uh, it, it is absolutely the most surefire way to not buy a fake is buying only from authorized retailers, right? I don't want you to shy away from buying things off of eBay because good deals can be found. Just don't be an idiot like me. Take a minute and look at the deal. Examine the seller. Um, there's one YouTuber out there. I forget who it is. They say, buy the seller, not the item. So really scrutinize the seller before you make your purchase. This I got from an authorized dealer off of Amazon.com. I paid about twice as much as I did for this, but I got the genuine article. I got this one for about uh, around $100. And I know I got the genuine article this time. I also want to uh, share with you the results of the quick poll, uh, impromptu poll that I did um, on on the video where I unboxed this this phony baloney, this phony. That's right, you're a big fat phony. So what won for the modification was the uh, black shroud and black bracelet. So I've already ordered those off of AliExpress. They should be showing up any day now, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a video modding the genuine article. So I can show you what that mod actually looks like. This fake is going in the garbage. I don't want anyone to try to pass this off as a real thing. So this fake is going bye-bye. Lesson learned here, right? Um, examine your purchases very carefully. Keep an eye out for fake. Ask for pictures. You know, that's another thing I could have done with the seller is ask for more pictures. I mean, really... All I needed to see were the screws on the side to notice that the fake was a fake. All right. Even if I hadn't done all the research that I did after the fact, if I had just seen how horribly finished the screws were, I would have known that fake was a fake. But yeah, do your research. Be very careful when purchasing online. Do your due diligence and you should be fine. Uh, obviously, the the only 100% way to know that you're buying the genuine article is to buy from an authorized retailer. There's a lot of value to be found buying secondhand, buying on the gray market, buying on eBay. You can find some good deals. Just just try it carefully, okay? Um, don't make the same mistakes that I did. And if you know any other ways of telling a fake from a real G-Shock, leave them in the comments down below, all right? Listen, I'm not perfect. 
I'm not a know-it-all. I'm very much still learning a lot here. So I am more than willing to admit when I made a mistake. The important thing is to own up to those mistakes and to make it right. This is me making it right for you guys. Keep an eye out for that mod video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, mask up, and be kind to each other because life can change in a split second. Whoa, you made it all the way to the end of the video, really? That's amazing, even I don't make it all the way to the end of the video. Well, if you like what you saw, click here for another video and click here to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell so you're notified whenever I publish a new video. Thanks for watching.